Hello, I'm Micah Rowland. Um, we are doing a gunshot wound, right? Correct. Yeah. Gunshot wound to the head and... Uh, entrance and exit. We're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put an, ex an entrance wound in your forehead or your jaw and reverse the other one. So we can use two things. We use this is dual glue. This could be latex here, but what I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use gelatin only because it dries a lot faster and this is shows how quick we can do this. It's a two-part silicone. There's all different name brands. That's their degree. Now the reason why I'm wiping off this is because you can't contaminate the other one because one's a catalyst and one's the activator. This if I was to take this much and just and dip in there, that whole thing will harden. Most important is you want to, again, you want to make sure you wedge, take these out and blend them really smooth. If you don't blend it down smooth, guess what? Then it looks really thick. This is a, uh, just a spatula. You know, a real thin, small little butter knife. I always say like the little baby, baby butter knives. A lot of people get those. You can go to an art store, you know, and you can get that as well. Take a Q-tip. You can take a regular round Q-tip if you want. I get the pointed ones only because I like using that, and you can like go follow it out a little more. And it's already drying. All right, we're gonna let that dry. Now, here's the fun part. I'm gonna take the duo glue, okay? Because this is what's gonna this will come off your hair a lot easier than the gelatin does, okay? I'm gonna take a Kleenex. I'm gonna separate it. Real important, because you don't want it too thick. You want it really thin. Now the other thing is, you want to take all the edges off. By taking off the edges, you make it so the edges are nice and rough and unblended. And now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take it and make little circles. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take a sponge, I'm gonna put it right at your hair, all the way to your eyebrow, and you put it on so it's a little wet, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put this on. Now, you've got the little edges that are sticking out, you want that because that's what has, that's what pops out and it shows that the layers are all hanging out there, okay? That's what you want to show the layers eventually. And this is what we're gonna glue to the hair so the hair looks like it's been separated and this is, all, this is gonna be skinned. Now we're going to the next layer. Now I'm going to take this latex on it on there. I'm going to make it look a little rough as on the edge, but I'm not going to touch this part because that needs to be as open as it can be for the hair that we're attaching to it. We're going to take another little circle and we're going to attach that as well. Usually about three or four circles. You can do it with one, but um, a good two or three is a lot better. We're going to wet it and I'm going to try and wipe a little bit of the edges as much as I can without making it go down and lift it again and try to get on that side and see that's the hard part because you want to make sure that you get that up because you want that little lift going on. This is all creating the lift of what's happening because the texture which is a separation between one point and another point is very important. So now we take some dark hair, which is textured wool. I'm just going to take a few little hairs here because this is going to be your eyebrows. This is going to be your hair. And by separating the crepe wool, you can buy anywhere. They even sell this at Rite Aid. They sell it at Walgreens. And now again, we get our glue, medical adhesive because it's very strong. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to glue this on the outside, right here, and on the inside, because I'm putting hair here. So the separation is if your head got blown off in between, see, because that, all that is going to be covered in blood. So it's going to look like this has been separated and it's inside your head and it went right through it. Same thing here under your sideburns. Okay, let's paint. All right, so now we're gonna 
start with painting and this is alcohol activated paint which you can pretty much use almost anything it doesn't have to be alcohol paint these are the flesh tones always start lighter and then work your way up I don't want to cover all the white because I want the white to pop out when it's bloody so that's the reason I used white otherwise I would have used a colored, uh, colored Kleenex because you can get that too. You can go get colored Kleenexes at the store that are almost the same color as your skin. And now we're going to start painting some pink decoloration in the, on the inside. I'm pretty much going to try and touch everything that's white with a real light wash. We're going to put some blue black in there. I'm going to go blue, I'm going to go dark red, and just a little bit of black. There we go. So it's kind of almost like a a mustard purplish dark brown because that's really important that's kind of a color and then what i want to do is i'm going to splatter it yeah i'm painting the, the bullet mode now it's letting it dry while i was working on the other side so that way i can get this going put a little black in the center Now smudges, when I start coming in here and start painting, these are just to show that the bullet entrance has gone from here to here. Because what happens is, when it goes through, you have breaking uh, capillaries as well as muscle tissue that are breaking as it goes through. Okay, let's have some fun with some blood. This is a thick blood. This is, you know, we all make it. And it's just regular blood and some thickening agents, some flour, some ground up cornmeal, oatmeal. through and travels through the face, through the jawline, up to the cheekbones, through the nasal labia, through the sinus bone, temporalis, and splatters right out of the temple. Because it picks up everything and it expands the bullet fragment, goes out and eliminates everything that's in its way, which is right here, your head. It shatters the skull, opens everything up, and this is what you would look like if you got shot. Have a nice day. Ha, 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 ha.